have been jailhouse prisoners for over 150 years. Bodmin Jail was built in 1779. It was allegedly revolutionary in its time for being a particularly airy and healthy prison where prisoners were paid for their work. However, other accounts say disagree, claiming the jail was built in a manner to torture and isolate its prisoners. Bodmin Jail's good reputation began to change in the crime wave of the early 1800s when people suddenly had to share cells due to overcrowding. Due to new requirements and the deteriorating condition of the older parts of the prison, much of it was rebuilt in the late 1850s. The new jail included 220 cells that separated prisoners by crime. The prison closed in 1922, and all of its buildings were sold in 1929. Both men and women were executed at the prison. In its 150 years of operation, there were over 50 prisoners executed at Bodmin Jail, both men and women. These executions weren't reserved for particularly heinous crimes in those days. You could be executed for what amounts to petty theft or setting corn or haystacks on fire. While the prison both housed and executed men and women, men were far more likely to die in the gallows. The procedure often used was called the long drop, pioneered by William Marwood, and it was said to be more humane. The older technique, the short drop killed by strangulation, whereas Marwood's technique killed by asphyxiation while unconscious. The jail is frequented by ghost hunters and paranormal enthusiasts alike. Because of its legacy as a prison, and particularly as a prison where executions took place, Bodmin Jail is of notable interest to ghost hunters. Most Haunted, one of England's most popular paranormal shows, had a particularly revelatory episode set there, though it had more to do with exposing one of its hosts as a fake than capturing paranormal activity. Paranormal investigators have also had experiences there, and the jail itself has ghost tour packages for prospective visitors. The history is fascinating, Ghosts are a big part of the draw for tourists as well as amateur and professional paranormal investigators. According to the Mirror, the tours packed quite the punch. Grown men have fainted, women vomited, and people run screaming from its depths. Bodmin Jail has fascinated and terrified its visitors in equal measure for years. Dropgate was once ruled illegal for a surprising reason. Hangings at Bodmin Jail were done with a trapdoor and pit. That pit, like the rest of the jail, underwent some changes over Bodmin's long history. At one point, the pit's design was ruled illegal not because it was particularly inhumane or ineffective, but because it wasn't public enough. The drop was then moved, which allowed thousands of people to witness the executions from the surrounding area. In 1868, it was ruled that executions had to be private, and the remaining sentences at Bodmin Jail were carried out in the same location but hidden from the public behind canvas. It wasn't until 1901 that hangings took place inside the jail, making them truly private. Executions at Bodmin Jail were often public. Executions at Bodmin Jail were often public. The prison was built by prisoners of war. The prison was built by prisoners of war ghost of a woman who drowned her child also allegedly haunts the jail. Al Hampton might be the most famous, especially because he was the last person executed at the prison. There are still other spirits said to roam the halls of Bodmin Jail. 
Selena Wadge was accused and convicted of killing her child in June 1878. She was expected to be granted clemency by reason of mental illness, but that pardon never came. Today, it's said children visiting the jail may see a woman in a long black dress that nobody else can see. The ghosts of a warden and several murderers, including a pair of brothers, have also been set to visit the jail, terrifying and entrancing visitors to the historic location. People believe Hampton haunts the jail due to some uncertainty about his case. Hampton murdered his girlfriend due to jealousy or a possible affair with her mother. Hampton murdered his girlfriend due to jealousy or a possible affair with her mother. Video footage allegedly shows Hampton's ghost walking through the jail. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below. And also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.